what's up everybody it's your boy Muff Bang turn up again and as you can see in front of me mm, 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 delicious breakfast we got sauce uh, what's this turkey sausage home fries that's what that was we got turkey sausage home fries we got scrambled eggs and of course you know we got the delicious French toast with a nice glass of orange juice I'm back again. Sorry, I haven't been putting up many, uh, too many videos. Lifestyle is just a little bit too busy right now, but I'm trying to, you know, recreate it so I can be more focused here. But we're gonna get to that in some other video. But how's everybody doing, man? It's the new year's about to be, you know. So what's your resolution and you know all that other stuff, you know? Just hopefully everybody stick to their resolution for the new year and just don't talk about it, you know. Stay focused on what you say you're going to do and how you're going to do it. You know, if you're going to cut people out your life or if you're going to start going to the gym or, you know, whatever the case might be. We hear the same stuff every year. So, hey, at least this year you can actually say you're going to do it. Right? So. Mm, love that honey mustard, man. It's so delicious. Without any further ado. Jesus, I thank you for this breakfast, and I ask that you bless the hands that prepared it for me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right. So, where do I start first? What y'all want to see me eat? French toast? French toast is always good, I know. But I like the home fries, so let me start with that first. I've been craving this for a while. That's cool. You got a little bit. All right. You got that? Can you see how beautiful that looks? That looks real nice. Mm. Tastes good too. So yeah, like I was saying, man. New Year's resolutions are always the hardest to keep. We start off by saying what we want to do and how we want to do it. But somewhere in between all of that, it always gets sidetracked. Either that or you, or you end up getting involved with somebody that's going to take you off in a different direction. Just totally further away from where you want to be. So. It's all about being focused. You know, sticking to your guns and just being focused. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. You know? I'm definitely enjoying this so far. It's very delicious. Yeah, just for my, my resolution for the new year, I just want to be able to be more focused and center myself in just one spot. You know? It's just kind of hard to do. Because you're reaching, you're trying to create avenues from all over. It can be done. It's just that you have to figure out just, you know, what road you're going to take. Red pill or the blue pill. I know y'all be looking at all this food and y'all be like, how in the world does he eat all this? I don't know, half the time myself, I close my eyes and I, you know, <laughs> I pray on it. Try to see if I can squeeze at least another video in before the New Year's. I don't know. Let's see how that works out. But for now, we're just going to start things off for the breakfast. Kick that off on the right foot. Because I know right now there's a lot of early celebrations all over the place. 
thank God for a lot of people who actually got the day off. They don't have to return back to work until the third or, you know. You know. That's good. I think a lot of these jobs, are, you know, it's, it's really good when, when they're flexible with you. Uh, they, you know, they don't keep you stagnant. You know, if you want to move forward, you move forward. And they don't stop you. Some of these employers, man, in order for you to get a day off, you got to really tell them, you got to pull your heart out. Get on the phone and lie about some shit. I'm, you know, I'm sick. My dog's sick. My cat's sick. You know, got a dentist appointment. You ain't really got no damn appointment. But at the end of the day, that supervisor not telling you his business. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's kind of, you know, you gotta think about that for a second. Why am I telling you all my business just to get a day off? So yeah. Changes to got to be made. So let me know how you guys gonna be spending your New Year's. Where you gonna be? You know. Try to, try to kind of like, you know, pinpoint exactly what you're going to be doing just before the ball drop. Are you going to be sleeping? Hey, if you're going to be sleeping, there's no problem with that. You know, you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? Some of y'all probably... Yeah, I'll probably be so drunk before the ball even dropped. <laughs> you didn't have no choice but to go to sleep early. <laughs> That's what it is. So enjoying this right now, so good. I think I'll be able to finish it all. I got faith in myself. Oh wait, I'll get to you in a minute. So, for the Christmas, who pissed you guys off? Let me know. How was your Christmas? Or was it just a normal day? You know, did you have to work? Were you able to get the day off? You know. Tell me if this is true or not. From Monday to Friday, if you complete all of your shopping, grocery shopping, laundry, everything, whatever the case might be, would it be necessary to have the need to go to, you know, to, to complete any of those things on Saturday and Sunday? It's just something to think about because if you complete everything from Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, that means that the people who normally work on Saturday and Sunday, they can have that day off too. Just think about it. Because these stores, they need us more than they, more than we need them. If you think about that. 
And if nobody shows up to buy anything on Saturday and Sunday, you got to send them home. Send your employees home. So that would make sense. At least it would allow people who normally work on the weekends to not work on the weekend anymore. My kids watch Funnel Vision, right? I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. But the dad on Funnel Vision, you know, he's the one that said that. And I thought it made sense. And I figured, you know what? Let me just voice that a little bit more so other people can hear it. See if it actually can, you know, resonate to some of you. But um, I really do think it makes sense. A lot of weekends to be enjoyed. You know? I didn't start on the French toast because I don't like to mix. If I'm dealing with this, I'd rather deal with this and then, you know. out of here. You want some eggs? Okay, you want some eggs? Oh man, look at that. There you go. Got it? Put you right back over here. So if anybody knows Funnel Vision and what I'm talking about, just tag him in, in, you know, tag him and say, you know, hey, this guy, Mukbang Turnip, said that you said something that made pretty much, you know, a lot of sense. Let him know, give him your response. I'm sure he'll probably appreciate it. He probably forgot, though. <laughs> Sometimes you'd be so busy making these videos, you say a lot of things, you'd be like, oh my God, did I really say that? It happens. <clears throat> I have no idea how my day's gonna play out. I prefer to keep it that way because I hate making plans. I'd rather just be spontaneous and just go with the flow of traffic. You know? I, I prefer to be that way because, you know, you make plans and then you get everybody excited. And then, you, you know, you got to call them up later and say, hey, man, we can't do it anymore. So now everybody's disappointed. They probably would never believe in you again. Where is your mom? At least it should be. I ain't gonna bring up tissue. 
Shouts out to Holy Mug Back for preparing this delicious breakfast for me. Awesome, awesome woman as well, as usual. <sighs> for those of you that don't know, that is my lovely wife. You know, sometimes we do like couples mug bang, and sometimes we do our own. So. I know a lot of people, they get it confused, like, you know, wow, we don't know if it's one channel or if it's two separate channels. No. Sometimes we do it together and sometimes we don't. You know, depends on the schedule, depends on who got, you know, the advantage to do it, I would say. But her channel is Holy Mukbang and mine's just Mukbang Turner. Say happy New Year's. Oh, no, I'm not ready. These things are happening too fast for me. It's just hard for me to keep up to. Seemed like it was just yesterday, man. Popping champagne and hearing all this noise in your ears. Happening too fast, man. 2019 already. I remember I used to play this game, video game called 2020. Pretty much it, it's it's surrounded with events that, you know, that would um some somewhat happen in 2020. It was a pretty good game. It was like a uh, like a futuristic space game. I like it though, it's nice. I wanted to kind of create like a gamers channel, like, you know, as well. Like I said, those are all things that I have. That's my bucket list, so to speak. So I got to dig through my bucket list and kind of clear it up. I made that bucket list in the event that I that I might just win the lottery. So I said, if I win the lottery, I'll pay off everything. Tell my boss where to shove it, and I'm out, bitches. You know what I'm saying? But it's not my time is yet. So all that does is it puts me back, back to the drawing board, so I can be able to think a little bit more harder and try to figure out a, a, a better way to plan my escape. Sound weird, right? <laughs> like an escape. But that's pretty much what it is. Change your time for a paycheck. That's all it is. So 
told you I was going to get to you, French Toast. Thanks for being so patient. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I see why you made me wait. Because you're so good. Just done right, perfectly. See, you ready to bite it, right? You want to bite it? I know you do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like to cut mine into these little perfect squares, bite-sized squares. I know everyone eats theirs different, but um, that's just how I prefer to eat mine. It's almost like I don't want it to finish too fast, so I try to make the little small squares. <laughs> I'll be acting like y'all don't do that too. eat it too fast because you think it's going to finish fast and you ain't got no more left. Just like shit. Even if I got a lick on it, <laughs> just to keep the flavor going. Mm So like I said, y'all, I'm going to try to do the, do the best I can to, like, free up a little bit more of my time, you know, so we can spend more time with each other, you know, just a lot going on right now, I just figure I'll share that with you guys, so y'all don't think I'm just going to be in and out. Take this whole mukbang turn up thing to the top level. Shouts out to anybody who's ready to start their channel. Just to let you know, it's not as easy as it looks. I wish you guys good luck, but it's just not as easy as it looks. Yeah, it's easy to sit here and eat the food. But you don't really know what happens in the background. Behind the scenes and all that stuff, preparation. It's a lot. Especially if you try to collab with somebody. You know? Because now both of y'all got to be in sync. You got to, you know, got to know what each other's going to do. You say, look here. <laughs> 
So we're gonna do this collab. So you just make sure you don't say no dumb shit. Cause this is my channel, don't forget it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you never know, that's probably what happens, you know. You gotta put them on, cause sometimes these people get up here, they don't, you know, they trying to wreck your channel, they say some dumb shit on your channel. You know. Especially we doing a live, oh my god. Forget it. Got these haters out here, man. They smile in your face. You got to watch out for them. <gasps> Could be your family members, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a new year. We all going to figure it out. Already you know, it's your boy, Mukbang Turnup. And I do appreciate you know appreciate you guys just hanging out with me, enjoying this breakfast with me. Um, thanks for watching once again, and we're gonna see you on the next video. Happy New Year to everybody.